Hey everyone, it's Rye bringing you another really quick guide. Um, this is going to be part of the Absolute Basics series, so definitely watch this if you're looking to get into multiplayer. I'm just going to jump right in. This is going to be about etiquette in a game. Some kind of normalized things that happen in pretty much every No Quitters game. Every multiplayer game, you'll see this kind of thing. And usually, this is counterintuitive to what you'd expect when you're playing with just AI or just single player. So if you're a very big single player person, this video is designed for you. Okay? So just, just watch the whole thing. So let me just go down a list of things to do and not to do. This is going to be probably like not even a five minute long video. So try to stay with me. This is the most commonly annoying thing that new players do, that new players don't do. And it makes people want to kill you, okay? Always, 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 always accept regional trades. You're given six of them. You, have, you, you know, there's six of your copies of your regional. Trade them out. Always accept regional deals regardless if you have more copies ready. It's not about if you're directly benefiting, right? It's about if you were in the other person's per, uh, position, you'd want to do the deal, right? And it's just something that you always should be doing, right? unless you're trying to spite some specific person. In that case, it's a different different story, but always accept these regional deals. It's about, hey, like, if I wanna buy a King's Day off of you, I'll charge you two gold because I assume that you'll charge me two gold when I'm looking for one, right? So like. It's about the balancing act. So always, 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 always accept these regional deals. Okay? This is just a good rule of thumb. There's some people that don't follow this rule and that's fine, but they're more experienced players. So if you're new, always accept embassy and open borders. It's just customary. You know, you're not, they're, they're just trying to scout the fucking land or they're just trying to like see what, you, what regional you have. It, it's not that deep. Okay? And something a lot of people kind of shy away from, but I really encourage, ask questions either in DM, in Discord, right? The Lekma Discord is a great fucking resource. Um, like people ask questions in here all the time, right? And there's a lot of really nice people here that are very happy to answer them. i um, just going to leave this up here. Um, so always ask questions. Feel free if you're confused, if you're not used to something, etc. Okay. Not to do. If you take a settler, the game is going to scrap. Okay? Every, no one is going to want to play with anyone who takes a fucking settler. Regardless if you're planning to kill them, you take that settler, the game is over. Don't take a fucking settler. Never take a worker unless you're okay warring for the rest of the fucking game. People in No Quitters are petty as fuck. And if you do something as, you know, what could be to you as like inconsequential as taking one worker or killing a scout, right? Or what, if you do this, they're going to war you for the rest of the game and they're not going to trade with you. And frankly, they'll fucking kill you in the next game you play with them. Don't do this. If you are ever in a position where you can buy someone's cap tiles, you settled way too aggressively. <laughs> I'm just gonna, like you're you should never even think about settling this, someone clo this close to someone's cap unless you're planning to instantly kill them. And I'm talking like within like 10 turns you're killing them. Warring for I've seen this a couple times too. Warring for one city slash temporarily is not a thing. You you don't do that. <laughs> It's you fucking, you go for the full kill or you fuck off. Um, so don't, don't war temporarily. It's not a thing. Or for one city, right? Not a thing. Just as a rule of thumb, this isn't like a law, but rule of thumb, if you're irrelevant, that's fine. Just play till turn 100. Because when someone leaves that, like before turn 100, it really throws off the game dynamic. You may as well just be, like, just be AFK. So don't ask for ear pre-turn 100. Never leave a game. Never leave before losing your cap in a war. After you lose your cap, you can go. You can leave. 
But before losing a cap, you better defend your land because this goes back to the reputational thing in the last video. If you don't defend your cap, you are now the guy who doesn't defend his cap and everyone is going to steamroll right through you. So don't be this person. Um, I definitely miss some things. If you're an experienced NQ player and you're watching this video, feel free to leave a comment with some of the things I may have missed. Um, I kind of just wanted to make this video quite quickly. Let me see if I'm, let me just double check. I'm not missing anything where I wrote this shit down. Um, <laughs> if you're, if you're a new player, <laughs> don't message. This will not work because you don't know what will not work and what will work. It's just so cringe and you're going to look like an idiot. Um, I, I think, <laughs> I think that's it. I, again, I wanted to make this a quick video. Um, <laughs> uh, but yeah. So hopefully this isn't useful. Hopefully this gives you some idea of what to do when you're in a game. Um, if you have any questions at all, feel free to message me in Steam, on Discord, leave a comment, whatever. I'm happy to help. But yeah, hopefully this is helpful. And I'll talk to you guys later.